Okay, so first method that you can use to dock the tails is just using a clamp. Nothing special. How you decide where you're going to do the clamp, the standard for the Yorkshire Terrier, is right where this tan spot ends. So you're gonna clamp right there. All right. So we can see right there. Okay. And then after you're done with your clamp, some people twist the tail. I like to just cut it. Okay. And then with the clamping method, you're gonna wanna let that just sit for a little while, okay? Let it just fuse that skin together so that when you take the clamp off, there's no blood, there's nothing. All right, so we're gonna let him just Chill there for a minute. Let that fuse together. Good boy. All right. And this is day three. So nerve has not grown into the tail yet, which is when you want to do it. All right. So second method here is just cutting it and doing a daub of super glue. Um, I never recommend just doing quick stop because it will just open up and it leaves room for you know for infection to set in so you never want to do that so let's go ahead with the the super glue method all right got my super glue open here we're going to pick the same spot on the tail right where that tan ends I like to kind of squeeze their tail for a second let the blood flow stop going through it kind of numbs their tail a little bit all right, and then I'm just going to take a look. You can see right, right there, right at the tips of my finger is right where that tan ends. See that tan spot? You're going to clip right there. See? No biggie. You can kind of see that it's open a little bit. Now we're just going to put a couple daubs of super glue. And you're just going to hold that for a second. Give that a little bit of time to dry. Not a big deal, not as big a deal what some people make it out to be. Of course your veterinarian, when they do it, they usually do a cup, like a stitch or two in the end of the tail. I, I've done some stitches, some sutures before, and that's actually more painful than just a quick snip and putting super glue on it. The super glue closes it up, and this will heal underneath the super glue and then in about three to four weeks the soup this little hard piece of super glue just pops right off which i'm a big fan of that their hair starts growing after it's healed and it just pushes the super glue cap right off a couple weeks from now and it's super easy on them and i love doing these myself because i do worry about um them picking something up while we are at the veterinarian's office, like canine herpes virus. There's just so many things that they can get. So I see a little spot of blood right there, just a tiny little spot of blood coming out. So I'm just gonna daub another little bit of super glue. And so while this other puppy, the clamp is, you can already see it's starting to harden, but we've got a little spot where some stuff's trying to come out. So just put a little bit more there. If you want it to harden faster, you can kind of tap it. But we just want them to be as comfortable as possible. So not a huge deal. I'm not as big a fan on the clamping method where I know a lot of people are, just because I feel like after it's clamped, sometimes the tail, the skin still comes apart and then the bone, that little piece of bone and inside of the tail, it gets exposed. Even though I try to leave the clamp for a long time, the mom loves to lick afterwards and sometimes it will pop back open and then I have to do the super glue anyways. So, all right, let's let go. And you'll be able to kind of tell, like, give it a minute. May don't just wrap your stuff up, give, give it a minute. If there is, the puppy is gonna start getting some blood out of this super glue, you'll be able to tell pretty quick. See, I've got one little blood spot right there coming through. 
we're just gonna out oh, two spots. We're just gonna dab that. Okay. Okay. Okay, just hit that with that. There we go. When it does, it makes kind of like a little, a little bit of a hard spot, but it stops the bleeding and it just makes a nice little scab, a hard kind of a scab that just will pop, pop off in a couple weeks. So we're gonna leave, leave him there, give it a couple minutes and see if any blood starts to come out, you know, anywhere else. If it does, just tap a little bit more on there. See, go. And it doesn't matter how much super glue you put on there. You know, he's he's not hurting or anything. Not a big deal. All right. So we're going to put him down. And then for dew claws, um, some people also do the clamping method and then twist the dew claw off. Um, I know a lot of people are a big fan of that. I don't mind that method, but you do have to get the seed out of the dew claw. And I feel like sometimes with the clamping method, you don't get that dew claw out. and Or the seed out of the dew claw. Which, if you don't get the seed, the dew claw will just grow right back. So I'm going to check this guy right here. Check his clamp. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit more time while we go ahead and just do one of his dew claws. So I try to pull this skin like this towards his body to get it tight. And then you just I like the way I like to do it. You can try and clamp clamp right there. Every puppy's dew claws are different. But I have noticed too that sometimes they're so stubby, it's really hard to get their clamp in the right spot. And you do want to get that seed out. So what I do, just pop that off. Now you can see in there. Now I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm going to try and make it so you guys can see that is the seed. See, I feel like that's the only part that really hurts them. But see that little thing? That's the seed. That's what you need to get out to make sure that this does not grow back. And you can use quick stop or you can use super glue. Either way to close that up. Good job, baby. I feel like the dew claws definitely hurt more than the the tail dock. Not too much though. Not too bad, huh, buddy? You're doing so good, champ. I'm just gonna let that dry, blow on it a little to get that to air harden the super glue. But I do feel like taking the dew claws out is more of a concern than actually docking the tail. So so we always try to do that. All right, he's got a little spot of blood trying to come out of the bottom of that. We'll just get a little more super glue right there. And then tap it. Gets it to harden nice and quick. All right, buddy, you got one already done. Okay, you're doing amazing. So we're gonna still leave the clamp on his tail. You really want that to fuse together as good as you can. Like I said, clamping and cutting isn't my favorite method, but oh, see, he's still got a little bit of a little bit of blood coming through. So you're gonna grab that super glue, stick it on there. Good job, buddy. Good job. You did so good. All right, and for that other side, because I'm right-handed, I try to do it like this, hold them like this, so I can get a hold of that a little bit better, because you don't want them wiggling. All right, okay. Now we're gonna look for that seed. So you can see I have to kind of push in. That's the part they don't like. But you do, you gotta get that seed out or it will just grow back. Okay. Can you guys see that? That's the seed. All right. We're going to just put a little super glue. Good 
the jar, bud. Yeah. All right. We're gonna just tap that a little bit with the super glue. Make sure that dries for us. I still feel like we're getting some blood out of this other dew claw. Like it's just not sealing. Yeah, it's sealing up. Good job, bud. All right, let's take this clamp off and see if it'll stay shut for us. All right. Looks pretty good. I guess if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put some super glue on this to make sure it stays closed. But a lot of times the moms will lick this and then it kind of will open up on its own. A lot of people like this because there's no blood, not like you can't see anything, not like the just snipping method, but super simple, super easy, super easy on the puppies. They don't have to be away from their mom very long, and I definitely love that part, and I know that they're not getting exposed to something at the veterinarians, so thanks for watching, you guys.